And a pretty steady start for both the bowler and the batsman as that one's eased out into the covers. And he's got that away. Down to third man for four. So first boundary of the day. A bit of dismay from the bowler. But that raced away for four. Serious. Nicely smacked through the covers by Lehman. Good shot. His first four of the day. Half volley. And he put it away. Nice shot. Yeah, we put it back on them. It's a lovely shot there from Jake Lehman. Drives that beautifully through the covers. The line of length had been excellent. Just a little bit of width and Lehman crashes it away to the boundary before he moves up to 30. And that's nicely struck by Drew. Well hit. And that will race away. There's lightning quick after we've been talking about the last couple of days. Over the boundary rope. And that's nicely driven. Smashed away again by Lehman. Give him even the slightest bit of width. He's going to take advantage of it. He strikes that one and gets it through the inner field, past the, or through the gap down to the boundary. So that was a nice stroke. Past the diving fielder there at mid-wicket. Obviously brings New South back into the game, John. Just caressing away by Lehman. Nice touch. And it's going to roll away for a boundary. Well struck by Jake Lehman. Follow-up delivery. And that is out. Beautifully bowled. He's hit the stumps again, Tremaine. The new ball strikes. And the long innings of Daniel Drew comes to an end. The Redbacks lose their fourth wicket just before lunch. As we watch the replay, beautiful ball. Nice length. Nip back through the batting pad of Daniel Drew's defence. Probably took the pad as well on the off stump, so... A well earned wicket there for Christian Mayne in New South Wales. and Edging, and he'll get his first run. Safe enough through where third slip might have been. It wouldn't have carried, I don't think. And he's off the mark with a bit of luck. Ooh, <laughs> another edge, and away she goes again, down towards the third man boundary. That's a chase that won't be met. And it's another four to Liam Scott. As he works that one for four down the leg side. Beautifully played. That takes him to his half century. Jake Lehman, that's his fourth for this summer. Korea, as Jake Lehman has absolutely smoked that one down the ground. That'll be four. No need to run there. Chris Tremaine just slightly full, trying to get some swing with that new ball. A few boundaries here and there aren't going to hurt New South Wales. And speaking of boundaries, Jake Lehman's going to guide that one to the left-hand side of Gully. Lovely shot by Liam Scott. Beautifully timed through the cover gap. Classical back foot cover drive. Jake Lehman in the air again. Through and over cover. That one definitely tried to hit with a little bit more aggression. Looking to get a move on. And Jake Lehman's played that off his hip beautifully. And that's racing away. off the. Look at that. That's another boundary. What a beautiful shot. Beautiful timing. And just you've got to feel a little bit for the bowler there, Chad. And set things up beautifully. Good shot from Scott. Back down the ground. He played a lovely drive through the covers in the previous over. I think that's a better shot. Back past the bowler for another four. To Tremaine. Nicely played. Timed that well. That might roll down for another four. Missfield at mid-on. The chase on. That'll comfortably make the rope. So another boundary for Lehman. He moves to 80. And he's getting close to another century. They get across the line today. In the air. Down towards... Fine leg, but there's no one there. And another boundary for Liam Scott. So the boundaries continue to flow here as the Redbacks head towards that follow-on score of Shield Final with a bat one year too. Well, oh, there's an edge, and he's caught it first slip. Well taken there. Jason Sanger holds on to the chance. So a promising innings from Liam Scott it comes to an end on 26, and the Redbacks 5 for 263. Disappointing for the young all-rounder. And he's away now, Waterman off, and uh, that's found the sweet centre of a new bat, and it's gone for four to get him off the mark. Nielsen in strike now. And that's out. Off the leading edge, so the new bat didn't help him that much in the end, and Tremaine gets a, another well-deserved wicket. The Redbacks six down now, Nielsen on his way. He goes at it, over the keeper's head, and away down to the fence for four. 
just times it nicely again and beats the fielder too. Davies out there, almost got to it, but too much pace on it. Bang it in Shortman, and he pulling away again. Got that very nicely, and an, another boundary. A uh, lovely oh, catch wonderful there. catch. Straight to the fielder, tried to work it away, but straight into the hands. And Menenti is on his way for 10. Ended up just guiding it straight to head high at the man, Chris Tremaine at Gully. Great catch by Tremaine. Menenti on his way. Drinks being taken. We'll just update you on that score. He's gone round the wicket and oh, uppish. And he might be rewarded with a boundary here. It's slowing up, but it will go all the way. And he's for Travis. It's flat batted through mid wicket out towards the boundary. 300 up for the home side. Good shot from McAndrew. We know he can bat. And another sh shot there proves that he's uh, a very handy player at number nine for the home yes. side. On the pull, wider mid wicket, and that'll be four and the hundred for the Redbacks captain. He's taken on the job. He's played some aggressive innings in the past, and none more important than this one as he reaches his eighth Sheffield Shield century. He's that one down to third man for a single. So Jake Lehman, a century for him. And are they going to declare? Are they going to declare? Jake's going to head off, but. Nathan McAndrew is... Yep, they are going to declare. There you go. Good decision. Well, Johnson to start. It's not to say that he can't get a few wickets here, Spencer Johnson, and putting yourself us on the back foot a little bit, but if I was tipping an outcome at this stage, I'd be saying... Good looking drive. Oh, Johnson, let's rip it. That's oh. going to be buzzers. That's going to be buzzers. And he <laughs> shattered Spencer, but you, you shouldn't have thrown it. He shouldn't have thrown it. There was, and that's going to be four more down the leg side. A little bit of a tickle there. So some early boundaries for Hackney. None for thirteen. The score. Driven nicely there by Hackney. Out past point. It will go all the way. Just a little bit of room from Agar, and he took full advantage. Pulled away nicely there by McDonald. Gets it past the in the field and down to the boundary for four. So well struck. Shot. That's beautiful a shot. Yeah, that. isn't it? Take it away, Chad. Beautiful shot. Save a pitch and a bit of bit of width, and we know most left handers jump into those lows. He's in again, keeper up to the stumps on this occasion. Nicely chopped away. Back with a point, and there's no third man, so that'll be four. Good shot from McDonald. Scott again. Oh, here we go. That's over the top of the keeper's head, and that's almost carried all the way. Anyhow, it's four. Nice looking drive out towards cover point boundary. Chase for Kelvin Smith, but he can't get there. Tough one for him, and that brings up the 50 partnership for these two. Again, this time he does make contact, pulls it away nicely, splits the gap, and four runs there. Pulled and nicely struck by Hackney through mid-wicket, races away. Pulled it, catch it in the cry. Goes out to deep square leg. No one's going to catch that. Another boundary there to McDonald. Strikes it nicely. And this a wonderful shot. Beautiful drive. Diving on the rope, but never really any chance. It clangs into those metal pickets. Here he comes, whilst to Hackney. Hackney on the drive. In fact, edges it over the top, and that'll race down to the boundary. So he's one run closer to back-to-back -to -back 50s in this game. We get two. That's what we want. And there's the 50. Eased away nicely. So half century for the second time in the game for Ryan Hackney. He's come to Adelaide, taking his opportunity here, and a congratulately uh, handshake there from his partner, Blake McDonald. It has been following him a little bit today. That's a good shot. And back to back, well, another boundary. So three in the over. Spencer Johnson getting a bit of tap here in this uh, return to the bowling crease. Sweeney there on the leg side as Johnson goes around the wicket. And that's eased away nice. See quick outfield here at Karen Rolton Oval in a boundary. So one run away from the half century for 
New South Wales opener, Blake McDonald. So McDonald on 49, and that'll be his 50. Unfortunately for Mandy, couldn't stop it off his own bowling. So half century on debut, Blake McDonald. He'd be pretty happy. Well played, young man. Shot out through cover. Impressive batting here from Ryan Hackney. And another boundary through the offside for him as the New South Wales Blues continue to build this lead. New South Wales don't get too, too many overs. He's cut that one away nicely to the left of uh, Kelvin Smith and hits the, the metal fence. In fact, goes over the metal fence for six. So, well played. And he's going to bowl to McDonald on the reverse. Good stuff from the young man down to the vacant third man boundary. So the charge is on from New South Wales and a good way to start after drinks. Slow slip, backward point, Smith, deep point, Drew, down the wicket, driving in the end woods, mid off, just over the head of McAndrew. Gave it every effort and unfortunately just couldn't quite get there in the end. And Moved quickly. Wee. Oh, a high ball. This should be caught and is. So SA do get the breakthrough. Nice catch there by Scott. And that is the end of Hackney. Nicely struck. And that will go all the way. So four runs. Hackney timed that one well. Big swing at this one. High ball. And that has gone for four. Oh and Davies my God. came down the wicket, hit it very nicely, a boundary. Wonderful strike. Crunch for four, hitting those middle pickets. Exactly right, and he's hooked it beautifully. Four, not six, but beautiful <laughs> shot Pretty nonetheless. Pretty close though, wasn't it? Interesting to hear what he thought about playing as he hits that one very nicely out towards the deep point boundary. A chase down there for Daniel Drew. Initially got the hand on it, but snuck it, snuck it over the rope. Well, words of wisdom. Out, caught behind. There you go. So, Menenti, who uh, couldn't get a wicket the first dig, picks up one late on day three. Let's have a look, see what he comes up with. Uh, that's, that's he's hit it too hours. well. He's hit it too well. He's hit it for four. So, Ryan Acne's going to be... Not out at stumps. That was a nice shot from Sanger. And I think he's probably for the only time in his career, Jason Sanger disappointed he's hit a four there. So Sanger blocks it. And that should be it for the day. So New South Wales in a very strong position with one more day to go in the game at two for 203.